Hello, this is Final Master Link here, and I'm. This is part 21 of my Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix walkthrough, and outside of this, uh, what you just saw here, I, I, off camera, I defeated those um, enemies that were giving me so much trouble. Okay, so now Donald and Goofy basically just go back into your party. And you realize that, uh, this was Shanu. That's what these, like, um, things are for. You know, like that dragon head right there? That sort of space, and I guess it's like some kind of ritual or something of dark things. I don't really know. I'm just kind of guessing. And I just hit those for no real reason. Let's see now. See, I think I'm going to... First, I'm going to give my Sora a couple of potions. Uh, use that AP boost on Sora. And while we were in that cave, the village has been burned down by Shanu and his army. Sort of like what happened in the movie Mulan. There's a little fire stuff right there. Huh. Interesting. Um, I guess we'll save right now. Saving, saved. Now, now we gotta go up to the mountain peak. I think I'll just destroy these, a couple of these heartless. Ooh, I gotta level up. I got something increased, I, and I got maximum AP has been increased too. Let's get to that chest right here. I'm gonna use this like little, this little like tornado thing. You can use a reaction command. Yeah. You can go into it, and then once you're in it, you can like draw on enemies and then press the triangle button again to like basically shoot up in the air and kind of stun them. I hate those heartless when they disappear like that. Okay, you get the other chest. It's also an AP boost. How nice. Now when we go up to the top... Everyone out of your party is, has been taken out except for Sora. So Sora is on his own. Which means no drives. Which is kind of... Bull crap. That shouldn't be that bad because there's a time limit. Basically what you do is there's a counter in the top left corner of the screen. That's a time indicator. Like you only have about a minute to, I guess, just destroy Heartless. There's a bunch of them on the screen right now. And there's a, also a Heartless indicator. I don't think really anything big happens. I guess it's just there to keep track of how many Heartless you've killed. You don't really do much here. Yeah, try to use that reaction command where those, um... Ow. That isn't good. Yeah, try to use that reaction command. That can really hurt a lot of these guys. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I only have five minutes. I mean, five seconds anyway. Three, two, one, zero. I killed 58 Heartless, which I guess is cool. And Ping actually goes back to being Mulan, so 
and she gains a new ability, which would be which will be very useful. See, one thing I'm going to do right now is uh, switch these. I want to make it so when I press L1 and circle, that I do fire, and then when I press L1 and then triangle, then I'll do uh, the freezing move, blizzard. That's all I want to do right now. Pink has a new ability, and it introduces a new command called limits. Now basically, a limit is kind of related to like Final Fantasy crap. If any of you have uh, played Final Fantasy, then you probably know limit moves. They're like a special condition in which they can activate, and then you can select it and you can do a special move on somebody that inflicts a lot of damage. It's basically what it does here. And it uses, it uses all of your MP gauge too. However, it can be worth it in the end. You can get one, you can get a couple from Donald, Goofy, and one for Sora. But right now, right now we only have one for uh, Pain. Right now I'm going to activate it. Now during, while that limit gauge is up in the top right hand corner, you can either press triangle or circle. I tend to alternate between them because sometimes the circle button is what actually damages the enemy more than the triangle button. But you can do whatever you want. See, right now I'm just going to get these up here. As you can see, Mulan is a little more helpful since she just killed those guys for me. See, I got a feather. So you, you can also set it for a reaction command. It's an auto command. As long as you have maximum HP, then you can just press triangle when you're around an enemy and you can uh, use it. It's kind of useful. I don't really use it a lot though. Because it gets in the way of other reaction commands. Uh, you know what? That's not good. See, uh, uh, I'm gonna have to cut it off, off soon now. See, glad to be in bad war form. Sora looks cool. And I think we're gonna have to cut it off here. So. Until the next part, see ya.